Okay, so we look at uh, another part uh, in chapter 1. So we have uh, now look at the uh, function of the variable. So we want to know how can we determine the domain and the range for this particular function. Okay, so here mm -hmm, uh, what we have so far so from you enter from you have uh, um join this class this course so you have learned on a function of y y is a function of x so this is called single variable function so um, and then just now from the previous video we have z is a function of x y x and y so that is called two variable function and now we want to look at the three variable function where normally the three variable function is denoted by uh, w w is the function of x y and we add one more variable which is z okay so now we don't want to focus on sketching on the graph first Okay, we want to focus on finding the domain and the range similar as the what we have done on the previous video. Only sketching on the domain, oh sorry, only find out or determine domain and range and sketching only on domain. Okay, but this one, in this variable function, the thing that we want to look at is uh, just introduction a little bit on this particular function. And then we want to obtain the domain and the range. Alright, so we have a quick look um, on how can we evaluate the function of two, three variable function. So let's say the function here. So we know this one is three variable function because it defined that f is the function of x, y, z. So we know this one is mostly three variable fun function. Let's say we have x plus y plus z. And now we want to evaluate the function for this specific value so what you have to do is you just plug in all the value of x y and z into the given function okay so i'm sure that you have no problem here you just uh, plug in and evaluating okay and if your uh, uh your value is in terms of parameter rst which is x equal to r s y equal to s and z equal to 2 and we just substitute the parameter and we have another example here, x squared, y squared, z squared. And how can we evaluate this particular uh, z, uh, sorry, w or function? We just substitute uh, the value of x, y, z, and then we compute. Okay, so I'm sure that that should be no problem for you. Okay, so it's just very easy. Okay, now we want to look at um, how can we determine the domain and range. So the procedure. The process, the way you can you the template or the way you can represent the domain range are exactly the same as uh, what you have done in the previous video in the previous lesson. But now you have to add one more uh, variable. So for domain, you must add the z. Okay, and your r is no longer z but w. Okay, so now uh, for the example one here. You have the square of x squared, y squared, z squared. So, in order for you to determine determine the domain, again you have to uh, you have to declare that now the domain is the set of x, y, z. So you have put the z here, okay? And the x, y, z are should be real. And since there is a constraint, then you put the constraint where x squared plus y squared plus z squared. It should be. Uh, uh, greater than zero or positive okay okay for this one uh, if you have the now i rewrite the domain domain is a set of x y z where the x y z real number and then now here instead of you put the x square plus y square plus z square is greater than or equal to zero and actually you you can also okay are you i'm using or um sorry i'm using or and now look at here 
So now you ask yourself, can I put any value of x, y, and z so that the value is always positive and can be zero? Okay, now look at the first term. If I put negative value, let, let's say minus one, so in, it end up to be uh, positive, right? And similarly, if I put negative value or zero or positive value, so this term will give you positive. And similarly for z, if you put negative value, so the answer should, should still give you a positive. So positive plus positive plus positive, and the answer definitely a positive number. Or if you put a zero, 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 x zero, y zero, z zero, and the answer also can be zero. So meaning that instead of you put this uh, way of writing, you can also just say, I mean, just ignore this one. Because you can, you can say that I can put any x, y, and z. There is no restriction actually because uh, wait, when you put that value, so the answer is still always positive. Right, so meaning that here you have another option. So this is definitely correct or another way you can see that. Because of you can put any x, any y, any z, and the outcome is still the same. So you can just put like this. I can put any x, y, z, so that there is no risk, there is no problem with the, the the value of the w. The w is still always positive and can be zero. Okay, so that that is only for this one. Okay, so uh, range. Okay, now look at the, the range. The range is now the value of W. It's the value of W. W is real. Okay, so now based on your function given here, um, you have a square root, no sign, meaning that positive square root. So, and there is no uh, stand alone constant inside here. So, you can see that Definitely, the smallest value is 0 and that is no maximum value. It can be any number as long as it is positive. So, now it looks like W has a constraint which is always positive. Okay, so now we have another one here. Okay, and because we have a square root, so the, the idea is the same. The constraint is coming from inside the square function and the square function, I mean the function here should be whatever value they are always should be positive more than, I mean always positive and zero. Okay. And that is your description of the domain. And then uh, range. Uh, okay, a range is the value of W. W. Okay. So W. Mm. So, is this correct? I, I'm asking you. Is this correct? So, now you have to check. Okay. Whether. The, for the example 2. The. Given range. That one is not range. Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, the given range is. Uh, always positive. Is that correct? So, now we want to check. So, W is the square root of. Uh, 1 minus x squared minus y squared minus uh, z squared. Okay, so now we focus on the value inside the bracket. We can factorize the negative. So you have this. Okay, and this one always positive, right? So the possible value here is um, the smallest one, 0. And I put 1, and I put 2, and so on. Okay, so now that is a possible view. So now we want to evaluate the, the W where we have to put the square root. So if we if your if your if your value value in the bracket here is zero, so zero, so your W is square root of one minus zero and will give you one. And then if your value in the bracket here is one, so your W is 1 minus 1 you got 0 and then how about 2 or how about 1.5 and so on so w 
1 minus 2 and we have the square root of minus 1 and we give you does not and see similarly if you put on any number as long as greater than uh, greater than 1 for this so you will always get that does not and see so as we discussed before we only want it to be uh, a real number okay a real number so this is your possible w so you can see that the w is always lying between 0 and 1 so that is your answer for the uh, the range the range of the example 2 is so we have w w is real but only lying between 0 and 1 okay so meaning that the given answer here is wrong so i think this one is typo sorry about that okay so uh, we have another example here 1 over x plus y plus z so about the domain so the x plus y plus z as a denominator here uh, cannot be equal to 0 okay so that is your constraint so it will be part of the domain and the range so the range here uh, the value can be negative right as a whole the value as a whole can be negative can be positive but not 0 Okay, that is impossible to get zero. Then you can see that your value of W can be any real number except zero. Okay, so that is the, uh, the uh, domain and range for three variable function. Okay, so for domain, uh, the sketching of domain for three variable function also can be done by uh, uh, according to the uh, the previous uh, uh, question the, the exam question I think we never asked the student about that okay uh, that is because of uh, I would say that it's not so important as in domain for two variable function. Okay, because the three variable function we have a different situation where the sketching you will see that when you sketch the graph. So where the sketching of the graph will be on the next uh, part of the notes, not in here. Here we only focus on the uh, sketching of domain, uh, domain, and also finding the domain and range.